um, one of the guys I really like that I that I worked with last year are these guys called Level Jump. And what I like about them is, is they're so typical, right? Like, so they, of the companies I work with anyways, in that they do, they're in the sales enablement space. So they do sales enablement software. Sales enablement is terrible. This is a terrible market. There's thousands. <laughs> like, they're like, if you look at the sales enablement chart on G2 Crowd, there's like three dozen companies on there. And just like everyone else, like they, you know, they've got, they've got a bunch of neat features that are distinct to them, but it's hard to explain them. It's hard to explain why they're important. And they've got competitors that they're competing with that are way bigger than them, better funded than them, farther along than them, that do all kinds of things that they don't do. And so if you look at the, you know, the way they kind of pitched their stuff originally, you know, if, if I went on their website, it was really hard to answer that question. Like, how are you different? Like why you versus the other folks? And so we, we did a bunch of work together. And so the, the, you know, what came out of that work and the positioning that we had was a couple of things. So one was their real distinct differentiator is that they're, they're built native on Salesforce and that's the feature, but the value of that is that because they're built native on Salesforce, they can do a bunch of neat stuff with Salesforce data that the other guys can't because they're not inside Salesforce. And, with, and the real value you can get is you can do sales enablement, which is you can think of like onboarding a sales rep or training a new sales rep. And you can um, see whether or not that sales enablement moved any sales metrics. So did, it, did, did your training allow these reps to get to first deal faster? Did it allow them to make quota faster? Um, you know, do they, do they sell better on account of this training? And the only way to really measure that is to measure it with your sales data in Salesforce. Mm -hmm. So all the other things out there for sales enablement basically fall into one of two categories. They're either a CMS, which is like a content management system. So it, it, basically they're just a place, a repository for sales training stuff and to make sure that you have the right version and you're using the right things you're supposed to be using. But that doesn't even tell you if people took the training or not, or you're getting fancy and you got an LMS or a learning management system. And there's lots of those out there and those you can set up courses and you can see how far they are on the training and did they do the training and all, all this stuff. That's all it does. So if you really wanted to, you know, why are we doing sales enablement in the first place? What is the problem we're solving? The problem is not training salespeople. We're not training salespeople for no reason. We're training salespeople because every day they don't make quota costs us money. So now, instead of telling this story of, hey, we're sales enablement and here's the little things we're different. Now they're telling the story where they're like, you know, and, and oh, the last part is who do they sell to? So who cares about that? So some people are doing training specifically for compliance reasons. We just got to tick the box and show they did the training. And if that's all you want, then you shouldn't buy level jump. You should just buy an LMS. It's way cheaper. <laughs> and it does that job just fine. But if you're trying to train salespeople, you know, and you're trying to, and you're worried that every day they're not making quota cost you money, well, then you need something else. So who cares a lot about that? So their target market are teams with, that are growing um, and they're hiring a lot of new sales rep and this gap of, you know, how long does it take before the rep gets um, onboarded to making quota matters a lot. And I can measure that. Like I can measure how many millions a year you're wasting because of that. So anyway, 